For much of the last decade, BRIC countries have been the world's brightest economic stars. Now developing countries are leading the ec global economic recovery. They're part of a so-called Next 11, the name given to the group of nations deemed by Goldman Sachs as potential bright spots. Among them is the Philippines, where confidence in the government and a young workforce are helping the economy. Barnaby Lowe reports. It was a first in the Philippines. Tech companies coming together to showcase the hottest and the newest gadgets in the market. About time, according to Yahoo Philippines, organizers of TechnoStorm. Consider this. 400 million text messages are sent every single day in the Philippines. Over 27 million, or close to 30 percent of the population, are on Facebook. This place is no Silicon Valley, but Filipinos are considered to be one of the most tech-savvy and tech-crazy. And they're also buying. It's not nearly as big as a consumer electronics show in the U.S., at least not yet. But organizers are banking on the growing domestic demand for high-tech gadgets and the rising incomes of young Filipinos to make this event a success. Obviously, it represents uh, a very strong economy. I think a very strong middle class. In fact, strong consumer spending, not just in the tech industry, has helped shield the Philippine economy from the ongoing crisis in the West. The country may have even benefited from it as outsourcing, particularly in the call center industry, continues to grow. But just how strong is this economy? It's outperformed most of its Asian neighbors by posting a better than expected 7.1% GDP growth in the third quarter of 2012. Year to date, 6.5%, making it one of the fastest growing economies in the world. The market responded to the news with resounding optimism. The stock index hit an all-time high for the 31st time this year, while the Philippine peso appreciated to a level it hasn't reached for four years. We think 7% uh, uh, GDP growth for the full year will be attained. The fourth quarter is a strong quarter given the uh, consumption. It's the holiday season. It's also the highest period for remittances. Foreign remittances, mainly from overseas Filipino workers, which is expected to exceed 20 billion U.S. dollars this year, and for the longest time, has been the backbone of the Philippine economy. But as the government tries to keep the momentum going, the hope is that no Filipino will ever have to leave the country in search for a better life. Barnabilo, CCTV, Manila.